Hello guys. In this video, we will learn about publish subscribe model, which is also known as pub sub model. In this demo, we have requirement of single publisher with multiple consumers. All consumer should be able to get the messages from the queue. We will start by modifying same project, which we have created in previous video. Most of things remain same. Let's comment out few things which we do not need for now. Earlier we were using QDeclare method. But now we will use exchange declare method to define exchange. Earlier we used to send empty string in exchange parameter, but now we will use some name for exchange, here it's my exchange. And exchange type will be fanout, which we have covered in earlier video. Fanout means to broadcast the messages to all the consumers. Let's use same exchange name in basic publish method as well. Let's run this sender. It will publish this message. If you open exchange tab under management portal, you will see same exchange, which you gave as input for exchange attribute, is created. Click on my exchange link, you will get all the information about the selected exchange. It will show publish and subscribe rate. It will show how many consumers are live. The list is endless. Now let's modify consumer or receiver project. We will comment out QDeclare method. Here as well, we will use exchange declare method to configure exchange. Exchange name will be my exchange and type will be fanout. Now we will call a method, QDeclare using model object and get queue name. Once we gets the queue name, we will use that to bind the queue with exchange. This process is called bindings. In this model, queue name will be create internally by RabbitMQ, with some random kids. Routing key will be empty. Let's print some message in console. Let's remove thread sleep. Here we will just print what comes from the queue. Let's use same queue name what we have got from queue declare method. In this demo, we have created two projects for receiver, so that we can see the messages, which are actually being broadcasted to all receivers. Let's configure both receiver, as startup so that both project will run. Oh, we forget to code for second receiver project. Let's stop the execution. Let's copy all the codes from first receiver. Paste it. Import all namespaces which are required to use. Let's modify message, message received for notification. So we can say that, this project will be used for notification feature. Modify message in first project as message received for logs. Let's fix build errors. I have forget one curly braces. Now let's run this. We are seeing both receivers are waiting for some messages from the exchange. Let's resend the messages from the publisher console. We will resend for 10 times. So, now both receiver are receiving the messages. We can see in console for both projects.
You can see, it's showing the rate at which publish in is running, and what rate publish out is running. Hope you all understands how publish subscriber model works. This demo shows the concept of this model. You can improve this a lot when creating an actual model. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.